Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Chew Tuesday. We're coming at you with 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball. Eight box jumbo, pick your team number 23 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got another jumbo case loaded up, so if you're watching live, be sure to get into it, get your teams before someone else does. All cards ship. Nice fresh case here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen on August the 22nd. 22nd Rob, with that quadruple last spot mojo, bought the final four teams, including the Cardinals, to get this uh, break on the road. Big thanks to him and big thanks to everybody else as well. Thanks to everyone for making it happen. We could do another one of these tonight, too. I'm down. All right, so let's pop this case open. And let's see what we got here. Oh, interesting. Spurs may be in on Jonathan David from the wheel, huh? Now, we're in an exciting part of the sports calendar, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of the European soccer leagues underway. Transfer window happening. You know, maybe less than about well, no, about a week, a little over a week left in the transfer window. We're getting to the final month of the baseball season, final week of the NFL preseason. We'll have NFL action, and before you know it, we'll see basketball preseason, hockey preseason. Season will start. There's going to be a lot of sports to watch and discuss. It's going to be a lot of fun. And hopefully some, uh, some nice hits for everybody in the late summer and fall as well. Wow. What are they going to do with the other half of that Harry Kane money, you think? Get it going. There's a Technicolor Otani for the Angels. That'll be for Samuel. And Christopher Morell reveals an Ezekiel Tovar to 4.99. Okay. A uh, Jeremy Loke with the Rockies. I know the Rockies have not been playing well as a team, so they, so names like Ezekiel Tovar have been kind of buried, but I think he's been having a nice season. Do an autograph recap at the end, along with any other notable cards that we may pull here, image variations, low numbers, et cetera, et cetera. Corbin Carroll, Anthony Volpe, you know, as long as it turns out better than spending from that bail sale a few years ago. Yeah. Spurs have always seemed to be, you know, Tottenham always seems to be right on the cusp of just like, I mean, if, if I told you a few years ago with the numbers that Kane and Son were putting up and other players on that team, you would expect a little more on the, uh, and the good coaches they've had, you would expect a little more better results table-wise, but it's Castellanos to 350 for the Phillies. There's Otani, that MVP buyback program is back. He is definitely the, the there's a refractor too, definitely the favorite for the AL MVP. Here's Luis Librato. Has signed every single card right there. I feel like there's no way I'm signing over my legs. Maybe he works on it. So maybe he's proud of his legs. He doesn't want that want that to be covered up. Here's a refractor Otani. Francisco Alvarez. We'll save some of those. All card ship.
with the Josh Young prison, nice. He's probably on his way to AL Rookie of the Year before he fractured a thumb, maybe, something like that. Joe Ryan. Josh Young reveals a Logan Ohapi, 166 out of 299. That's right, they did have that one magical run, Tottenham. Logan Ohapi, uh, I think, has is back, has been back for the Angels. 166 out of 299, purple speckle. Mike Trout coming back today as well. So they got Ohapi and Trout. So back closer to full strength for the uh, for the Angels. There's Brian Reynolds, blue sonar to 125. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Avisar Garcia, and a nice refractor, Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. That'll be for Sean Maddock. All right, good start. Uh, Samuel has the Angels, by the way. Dodgers are on the East Coast or in Eastern Time Zone. They're in uh, they're in Cleveland. They're up by a run. Bottom of the sixth. Bobby Miller on the mound, who has been really has been having a real great season. And I think he's going to be a valuable player in the playoffs, too. I think he's going to... I think his next... After this Cleveland start, I think his next round of starts may be with teams that he has faced... That he'll be facing for the second time. So I think that'll be another big benchmark for him. It'll be a nice benchmark for him if he can uh, do well on those starts. Well, they might be on the road, too. Uh, Astros' is Jordan Alvarez scratched from the lineup tonight against the Red Sox after slamming his hand in a door at home and injuring his left index finger. He said the injury wasn't serious, but his finger was, was sore. Quote, he hurt his finger at the house, was careless with the door. Uh, what do you think really happened? Refractor for the Cardinal. That's going to go to Rob. Sounds like one of those stories where, like, I guess I'm reminded as a Dodger fan I'm, on the West Coast, I remember reminded of the Jeff Kent story. Remember that? There's Vinny Pascatino and of Anthony Volpe Refractor. The Pascatino autograph goes to Kevin and the Royals. Nice. And the Volpe Refractor will go to Jose and the Yankees. I think Jeff Kent uh, had broken his wrist or something. I think, was he with the Giants or Dodgers at the time? I forget, but he had broken his wrist or something like that? But he said he was, uh, I think he said he, he was like washing his truck. He was like, on a ladder or something, he was watching the rooftop of his truck. Here's a nice Corbin Carroll refractor for the Diamondbacks, Sean Maddock. Was he with the Giants, Eric saying? I think he slipped. He, the story was he slipped, he fell off this ladder, or fell off the top of the truck and banged up his wrist. But I think in reality, he was like off-roading or motorcycling or something like that, something specifically a no-no in his contract. Here's Teoscar Hernandez, gold wave, nice. 30 out of 50, that's a nice shot. Nice bit of photography there. Tani with the Mariners. And 
And we've got an Astro autograph. It's David Hensley. It's got some good penmanship there. Rookie auto for the Strohs. That'll be for Darren. Bears are linked to the Chiefs in a trade for defensive tackle Chris Jones. Yeah, I, I, thought, that, I thought the Chiefs would lock up Chris Jones, but I guess not. Did who invent the flux capacitor? That would be, would be Doc Brown who invented the uh, flux capacitor. And Acuna Jr. refractor, nice, for the Braves. Roil with Atlanta that is your favorite for the NL MVP. Yeah, I tell, oh, Jeff Kent, he, he did not hit his head. I think he fell and hurt his wrist. So thus, no flux capacitor. 244 out of 499. Freddie Fermin for the Royals. Kevin with Freddie. Nice autograph here. It's probably helped preserve uh, Salvador Perez's career by taking over most of the catching duties. You got Jake McCarthy, photo negative. And a Gunnar Henderson prism. That's for the Orioles, that's for Tristan. Is that how Doc Brown, in, is that how he invent, invented the flux capacitor? Was it in a dream after hitting his head? In a concussed haze? But they got another catcher in the works too, Eric? AJ Melendez, or MJ Melendez, right? Hmm. We got that, that catching position locked down. And Ronald, I suppose Jack Benny is secretary of state. I do, that's, that is a good line. I was just thinking another good line is, uh, is when they do the test. And then he, Doc Brown touches the, the handle of the car, of the DeLorean. And he's like, ah! <laughs> and Marty's like, what, hot? He's like, no, cold! I thought that was a, thought, thought that was a good joke. Good little, little turn. Ooh! Cleveland catcher got a, ooh, that could have been, thankfully hit the ground first. Pitcher hit the ground, skipped up and hit the Cleveland catcher right on the edge of the mask and knocked his mask off. That was straight on, that could have been, could have been dangerous. All right, next jumbo box. Volpe, Carroll, Acuna is generally the pattern that we see. I don't know if these inserts are part of the buyback royal. I think it might just be the base and parallels, but the so base Carroll, base Volpe. Oops, that's the wrong penny sleeve. And we got a Will Benson. Speaking of the Guardians, Ryan Boone, Booney. Cleveland, this is for you. So Will Benson, does he play? Not in the lineup today. Uh, Brennan's in the lineup though. My Dodgers up 3-2 on the Guardians. There's, uh, there's Melendez, we were just talking about him. Yeah, 
playing mostly outfield, but I guess at some point Salvador Perez isn't going to play forever. There's a Yoshida base. I feel like he's got, I guess the race, it used to be Josh Young, but I think the AL Rookie of the Year race is now down to Yoshida and probably Gunnar Henderson at this point. And there we've got Edwin Diaz. Green wave to 99 for the Mets, Sean. Yeah, there's Michael Bush who got called up. I think uh, here's a Ryan Nelson to 499. That's going to be for the Snakes. That'll be for Sean. JD Martinez with a groin injury ended up on the IL, and so they called up uh, Michael Bush, who was up for a little bit. Um, Earlier this year, did not do well in the majors. Kind of his first taste of the majors. Sent him back down to Triple A, and it has done nothing but rake in Triple A. And now that injury has kind of opened the door. Let's see, let's see what he can do with it. JD Martinez. Here's a Riley Green Prism. Nice, Tigers. That'll be for William. Spencer Steer for the Reds. Barry Roberts might get some get some uh, Rookie of the Year consideration. There's MJ Melendez again. Behind Goldie is an Ezekiel Tovar, another one. Rookie auto for the Rocks, Jeremy with the Rockies. Yeah, he has. If he played, if J.D. Martinez had played more games, he's been on the IL, I think, maybe once or twice, and is just doesn't play every day. But I feel like if he did play more, there'd probably be a little more consideration for him. All-star, too, right? More consideration for him being comeback player of the year. He might still win it. It's 250, Drew Waters. For the Royals, his teammate Bobby Wood Jr. Goldschmidt and the boxer. Yeah, really like that Jason Hayward signing too. Obviously, a good locker room guy, you know, and Dodgers usually do a pretty good. They've got a lot of confidence in their coaching staff, the Dodgers. So there's always, they're always, you know, they're always, uh, you know, finding lost causes or reclamation projects every year. I think the only one, you know, they don't all work out, Noah Syndergaard, but. But for the most part, I feel like they've done, they do a great job there. A lot of times they get those guys paid too after, after a season. I think Tyler Anderson, Andrew Heaney from last year got multi-year, con got what, two, three year contract after being with the Dodgers. All right, maybe a little score update for you. Any fi no finals, no final scores today, but we, the game closest to finishing, top of the eighth. Rockies leading the Rays four to three. Top of the seventh. Uh, Tigers leading the Cubs seven six. Middle of the seventh, Giants leading the Phillies three to two. It's tied in Baltimore. Blue Jays Orioles are tied at three. They both have eight hits apiece as well. Nationals and Yankees are tied at one. I think Yankees are on an eight, eight or nine game losing streak. Not the way they planned it. Uh, Pirates leading the Cardinals 6-2. My Dodgers leading the Guardians 3-2. Uh, 
Um, fifth inning, Braves leading the Mets 2-0. Astros leading the Red Sox early in the second 2-0. Bottom of the third, tied in Milwaukee 2-2. Twins at Brewers. Mariners at White Sox 2-1, middle of the second. Here's your score update from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Sponsored by 2023 Tops Chrome Baseball. Do they have a tagline for this? Yeah, home of the home of the Chrome rookie autograph. There you go. That's that's your ad read. All right, we got Simeon Woods Richardson, rookie autograph for the Twins. That'll be for Ryan G. We have not seen our one per case, speaking, looking at the Ken Waldachuk refractor, we have not seen our one per case Oakland A autograph. Not yet, anyway. We got a Freddie Freeman. Magenta, 399. He's got an outside chance at MVP, maybe? Ryan with my Dodgers, Ryan Gamsby. Tyrone says, I did that once, but it was actually a wall that broke. Did what once? Oh, Tyrone might be, might be lagging behind. Oh, by a lot. Yeah, Trevor Bauer has definitely been the big bust for the Dodgers. Here's an Anthony Volpe autograph. Nice. 232. He's got some nice penmanship there. 232 out of 250. Purple chrome autograph for the Yankees. Jose with the Bronx Bombers. Nice, nice, nice. That's all good, Tyrone. I just want to make sure that you were you weren't lagging behind. I mean, feel free to rewind again, but just make sure you uh, come back. Um, Yankees calling up two price. Who are they calling up? I think I heard something about a call up, but I forget who they were. I guess that's the stage of the season the Yankees are at now. You know, let's see what we got. Give give kids some some of the kids a taste of the majors. It's always good to do that. Get them ready for the next season. And here's your third autograph. There it is. The one per case Oakland A autograph, Cal Stevenson. That's gonna go to Stephen Carney and the A's. A's are actually a pretty good value just just because their autograph checklist, they've got a lot. Not a lot on that checklist. Here's a Juan Soto, purple speckled, $2.99 for the Friars. It's gonna be for Michael S. And wow, look at this. Ultraviolet All-Stars Adley Rushman. Tristan with the Orioles. It's been a nice jumbo case thus far. We're, st we're still, that's still got four boxes to go. Right, we're 
We're about halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks everyone for getting in. Most appreciated. What other games do we? We got a lot. We got a full slate of baseball on the schedule here too. Actually, this is great. I can watch. Uh, as soon as this Dodger game's over, I can watch the Angels game. Cincinnati Reds are in uh, Anaheim. They're playing the Angels. Graham Ashcraft on the mound for the Reds and uh, and Lucas Giolito for the Angels, which has not quite worked out. But Trout is back. And I think he's in the lineup today. I think he is. I think he's batting second. Logan O'Hoppy, I think, is back or has been back. Yeah, I think he. I think he just came back a couple uh, a couple of days ago. So we're getting to a little bit of full, closer to a full strength squad. Uh, the Royals are in Oakland. Rangers are in Arizona, and the Marlins are in San Diego. And Rangers Diamondbacks game looks pretty good. John Gray and uh, and Zach Gallon on the mound. Oh, Everson Pereira and Oswald Peraza for the Yankees game called the next day. Hopefully they have some good debuts. Yeah, Royal Royals A's. Although I think the Royals have been playing a lot better in like the last month or so, but yeah. Like who doesn't want the, or maybe you should tank. Maybe, you should, maybe they should tank against each other so they can try to get the number one overall pick. I don't know what the draft class looks like next year, but. All right, behind Tristan Casas is Caleb Killian. That's gonna go to the Cubs, Stephen Carney and the Cubbies. Yeah, that's pretty bad, Eric. The Royals have 40 wins. A's have 35 wins. Although I feel like the Royals is still a little more, I feel like a little more promising than the, than the A's. I don't know if we're gonna really see any potential for A success until, until maybe they move into their new stadium. We got a Francisco Alvarez, pink speckle, nice, to 350 for the Mets. Sean Maddock and the Metropolitans. This is uh, one of the future faces for the Mets. Obviously, for, I guess for both New York teams, the season's not going the way they drew it up at the start of the year. I certainly didn't think. This is, this is why I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not good at futures, inve investing in futures. And the next autograph, Gabriel Moreno, Blue Jays edition. 59 out of 150, yeah, his autographs are Blue Jays edition. That's gonna to go to Tani in Toronto. That's why I don't invest in futures, ladies and gentlemen. Can't see the future, hard to predict the future. Rex says he saw A's option, Tyler Soderstrom. He isn't turning out like people thought. What did people think? I don't remember thinking much of uh, Oh, that's Oswaldo Cabrera. Oswald Peraza is the one that got called up. Yeah, and Josh, oh. I thought that might be the autograph spot. And a Josh Young refractor, nice, for the Rangers, ki -hun. Base Otani. And we have a Brewer Hicklin. I think he's on the wrong team. 
Should be in Milwaukee. Kevin with the Royals, though. And we got Salvador Perez, nice. Orange Wave, 12 out of 25. Oh, was he, was he a pit, pitcher, Tyler Soderstrom? He wasn't really on my radar, to be honest with you. All right, three boxes to go. Good luck. Looks like, uh, yeah, looks like Bobby Miller done for the day. And Bobby Miller's line today, six and a third, scattering six hits, giving up only two earned runs, five strikeouts, one walk. I like that strikeout to walk ratio. Oh, he's a catcher first base. Who, who am I thinking of then? A different Tyler, maybe? I'll take that from Bobby Miller. 97 pitches through six and a third. 75 for strikes. I'll take that from the youngster. Not a bad day for Noah Syndergaard too. Six innings, four hits, three earned runs, four strikeouts and a walk. But the game is tied, 3-3. Three, three. Some color here behind Miguel Cabrera. It's Joey Weimer. Nice. 72 out of 150. Blue Ray Wave autograph for Tyrone and the Brew Crew. He's one of their. He's playing. He's playing. I think he's playing regularly. And one of their top up and coming players. I know. I, I, th that. Did they, I think they, I think some people called it like a Greg Maddox, you know, a Greg Maddox game. If you threw a complete game, complete game shutout under 100 pitches. Yeah, Greg Maddox would be able to do it on what, 78 pitches, right? Which would, yeah, which would count for maybe four or five innings nowadays. Talk about efficiency. There's some, I mean, if you look at his Wikipedia page, and I always, I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. And I wish they would do some sort of, like, you know, documentary on it, or even like a short 30-minute piece on it or something like that. But he was such a control artist with pitches. Oh, no. Come on, Caleb Ferguson. Those are Bobby Miller's runs, too. So much for that line. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. to 299. Such a control artist that he would, he would be able to, and he would see how the batter was standing. He'd be able to say where his pitch was going to go, how the batter was going to hit it, and where it was going to end up. He could call his shots like that. And here's Michael Toglia. 
Rockies, Jeremy. So I was like, man, I would love to hear more stories about that. You know, there's a few exam, two or three examples on, on, on Greg Maddox's Wikipedia page, but I'm like, let's hear more of these crazy stories. This is, didn't Don Mattingly's Hall of Fame eligibility run out ages ago? Does he still have eligibility? I don't think so, Rex. He's been retired for a while and I think all of his eligibility should be, there's Oswald Peraza just got called up. That's right, Eric. Mike Maddox. I think he was pitching coach with the Dodgers for, for a little bit as well. Padres for a little bit. Both are apparently good poker players and good, uh, good golfers. And here's Ezekiel Tovar, another one. Color this time, 126 out of 150. Two Rockies autos in this box. Nice break for Jeremy Loke in the Rocks. Oh, maybe Rex is talking about Veterans Committee. I didn't realize Veterans Committee had eligibility limits. And I guess they do. Or maybe Rex was looking at an article from back in 2010 or something like that. Logan O'Hoppy to 199. Aqua Lava. Regardless of what the criteria is, I, th I think Don Manningling probably, if he hasn't gotten in by now, I don't think he's going to get in, which is a little unfortunate. I, I, think, I think his career was kind of shortened a little bit or maybe not as effective. He had a lot of back issues, I want to say. And I think that kind of saps some production and some, and, you know, and some potential that he could have had. Oh, that must have been, what, 2000, 2000, 2001? Gotcha. That's on brand, Rex, Re reading it wrong. But hold on, but, but Rex, is there, are there, oh, a 95? Different Yankees Mariners playoffs? Um, no, I think that's something else. Never mind. Anyway. Um, is there, are there eligibility limits though, Rex? For, for veterans committee votes? Or is that, can you be voted in, I think there's no eligibility requirement. Or uh, no like, window. I think Veterans Committee can vote anyone in at any time after their normal eligibility runs out. Stephen Kwan. And behind Riley Green is a Louis Varlin for the Twins. That's going to be for Ryan Gansby. Yeah, they, they got to, I mean, at this point, you know, guys like Bonds and Clemens should probably be in. Gotcha, you know. Yeah, I think Veterans Committee is going to be tough for someone like Barry Bonds. 
Although he did get 12 of the 16 votes. But I think I feel like there's always going to be some player that played in his era on the Veterans Committee who played it, quote, the right way, you know, and will always hold it against Barry Bonds. All right, there's an Acuna Jr. base. All those add up, Royal and the Braves. All right, behind Jordan Alvarez, who apparently slammed a door on his hand. Kodai Senga, photo negative for the Mets. That'll be for Sean Maddock. I wonder what the real story is, Jordan. What really happened? You know, maybe it was something embarrassing. Maybe it was like I was, uh, I was chasing after my cat. There's Sean Bouchard, 19 out of four, another Rocky for Jeremy. I'm chasing after my cat and then I went to the bathroom. I saw a large spider and was terrified. Quickly slammed the door on my hand. Am I speaking from experience? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm telling Jordan, hey, you don't have to be embarrassed. You know? Wow, another Rocky. Ezekiel Tovar. There you go, Jeremy Loke. When it's, when it's a team's day, it's a team's day. Another two of the three autographs in the box. A rock. We got Kettle Marte to 399. Magenta for Sean. Wow. And our second ultraviolet, what a case. Our second ultraviolet insert, short print. Bryce Harper, Phillies, last spot mojo. I was talking up the fills before Rob got all four of those teams, I was like, hey, Philly's got ultraviolet all-stars, Bryce Harper's in there. Only Rob listened to me. A lot of opportunities for everybody to get those Phillies before Rob. There you go, Rob. Last ball mojo. Nice, uh, I guess two two case hits, not, they're not really case hits. They're technically short prints that happen to, odds-wise, fall one per case, but they're not like a case hit in the sense that like impeccable football, where there's like a gold piece in there. There you go, Rob. There he is, Rob. Congrats. I don't know. You know what, Rex? Rex is like only one that got in veterans committee last year was a crime dog, but Audie, he got in not mattingly. Maybe it is those back issues. Well, I, I, I honestly haven't really compared the numbers. compare the numbers to be honest with you. I mean Fred McGriff does have does have about another seventeen hundred of bats on on Manningly. I mean yeah he's got the counting stat. He almost has five hundred home runs. That helps. Yeah I think that's what's gonna always gonna hurt Manningly is that he has the counting stats will always be held against him. He has 222 home runs in his career. 
right? McGriff has 493, so it doesn't seem that odd in my perspective. You know, so. So I think that's always going to be held against. Is Manning one of the biggest names in baseball not to be in the Hall of Fame? I guess in terms of just pure name recognition and popularity, yeah, besides Bonds and McGuire and, and, uh, and Schilling and those guys. I mean, probably. He was a popular player, but I think if you look at the numbers, you know, it's not... I don't think it's that big of a snub. And I think that Bobby Wood is numbered, yeah. Future star, 72 out of 99. Royals, Kevin. And like, I, there are players like Koufax who didn't play very long, but, but in a short period of time, Koufax had, had just an incredible run of dominance where that will get you into the Hall of Fame if you lack some of the other counting stats. And unfortunately, Mattingly didn't have that kind of short burst of, I mean, he kind of did, but I guess really just really not big enough to, you know what I mean? He won an MVP, he was top five the year before, won the MVP second the year after, seventh the year after that. Let's say if Mattingly rattled off like, you know, if he rattled off like four or five, um, you know, MVPs in a row, you know, maybe that would have been, maybe set some records along the way in terms of counting stat records, and maybe there might be a better case for Mattingly, but unfortunately. Spencer Steer to 499. Jay Clo oh yeah, Pete Rose is the, it, probably the biggest one, Rex. Eric's right. Just caught up, sorry, I'm crazy how the Rockies collation has been so crazy in Jumbo. Well, that's if you believe that the collation is supposed to be an even number of autos for every single team in every single case. But that's not how they collate it. It's just completely, it's completely random. Nah, don't feel bad, Jeremy. Oh, you're Jeremy? Yeah, don't feel bad. Never feel bad, because if, if you do these, this group, these group breaks long enough, there'll be many times where your team is not going to hit, so don't feel bad, ever. There's Tim Anderson to 199. Enjoy the moment. All right, see you, Evan. Thanks, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Justin Seal, Cubs. So red, Spencer Steer, Barry with the red legs. Justin Steele also having a nice season. Stephen Carney with the Cubs. Did he, I, I don't remember that. Fred McGriff was a Yankee farmhand. All right, looking for our third and final auto of the break. Maybe some low numbered stuff. When are we, what, how are we gonna finish this break? Maybe a train whistle out of five and under. This should be the auto behind Cabrera. It is a Michael uh, Papireski. 81 out of 199 Aqua Wave autograph for Detroit. William with the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. Here's Alec Bohm to 250. Yeah, Pete Rowe should definitely be in. I mean, yeah, I mean, looking now, I, I guess Pete Rowe should be in be, because of his accomplishments as a player. You know what I mean? 
Sheila's Joe, I mean, who knows what the real, if we're ever going to know what the real story is going to be there, how involved he was or wasn't, you know, the numbers suggest he wasn't. But, you know, like, that's still an on-the-field act. But Pete Rose, as far as I know, I mean, probably was gambling as a player, but, but that, that, that hasn't been shown out. But now, yeah, every year that, that MLB, Eric's right, every year that Major League Baseball, you know, takes advertising money from FanDuel and DraftKings and other sports books, it gets, you know, it gets a little harder and harder to, to say why Pete Rose shouldn't be in. But I mean, yeah. the Hit King, not in the Hall of Fame, crazy. There's your recap, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty nice break. More in the store. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.